And you are on Hawkesbury Radio 89.9 FM with Cathy Vaughan and the Rock and Blues Show. And as promised, I do have a special, very special guest on the phone line chatting to us right now, and that is Stuart Monk. Hello, Stuart. Hello, Cathy. How are you? I'm great. I'm really good. I'm really good. And um, Stuart has just sent me a, a photograph of what, where he's at at the moment, which is actually at a jam night. And tell us about that, Stuart. Yeah, it's a new venue we've got in uh, Glebe. Yep. It used to be called uh, Bed Bed Bar, but it's actually changed to BMW, which is Best Music Warehouse now. So cool. we're putting we're putting comedy nights on here and and uh, all sorts of bands, different nights. But tonight we run a jam night. Yeah. So I'm the host host here, and usually I, I play some of the time, but most of the time everybody's getting up, and we have a guy called Reggie on a violin, and he seems to step in with everybody and. Um, his violin cries away with everybody's song and it's really, really cool, beautiful lighting here. It's really wonderful. It does look fantastic in the photos. It's natural kind of brickwork and um, beams, yeah. very rustic, looks great. And Stuart, so that's a great um, sort of thing you do a couple of times a week. There's another jam night you run on a Thursday night, is that? Yeah, yeah. Um, the promotion company I work for, they we do the Harbour View Hotel, Wollongong. We do all sorts of different places. But I, I actually run the Newtown uh, Kelly's on King every Tuesday night, and I've been doing that for quite quite some years now. But the one here is just a, a new venue for us, and it's really it's got a great atmosphere. I've just come out to talk to you, and I've left James Bleakley on, and he's doing jazz in there now, and, and it's just you know people enjoying a, a drink and. Really, really beautiful here. Love it. Hope we have a long association here. Well, it's it's just really good, I reckon, to um, keep encouraging those so sorts of nights at local, any you know pubs around the place because there se it seems to be a great interest in them and a lot of musicians out there that need a bit of confidence to get up and play something and you know that's a great way of encouraging them but look Stuart the main reason we've got you phoning us is to chat about your um, it, Stuart Monk is a fantastic uh, Australian luthier guitar guitar crafts craftsman i guess you'd say apart from that's only one of his many talents he's also a fantastic mechanic and uh he's renovated my 120y for me so good on you thank you so much Stuart. um and apart from that though let's chat about it's been fun um, oh it's been it's been really fun, really fun and, what an adventure that's been man just on a thing yes um but apart from that we were i was interested in how you went when you went to paris because we had you on the show uh a little while before you went to Paris with Graham Toomey who had painted one of your guitars with a fabulous Australian artwork and you were taking that with you to Paris so tell us about it can you please Stuart yeah well I, I want to go back I had such a wonderful wonderful time I um I, well it started with the, the entourage I have to go along with with people and guitars and you know all boxed up and the different countries you actually land in and you know and have problems getting in and out of airports and they don't want you to unwrap them out there because of taxes and all these sort of things so yeah uh, we lost it we lost the guitar in dubai but we seem to have picked it back up in france again so it was a bit worrying there for a little while and i was <laughs> hoping it wasn't going to be the aboriginal one lucky it wasn't but um yeah it was really cool like um we got there and what was the name they, of the festival again it's um if you can pronounce the french name yeah this salon son salon de la guitar yeah something like that it was in this beautiful hall yes and uh we um you, as soon as we turned up you know just so welcomed and you know with open arms and we we looked after straight away and um we put our put our stand up and then the next thing that happened was was that um the mayor turned up and opened it and that was really cool the mayor came over and had a look at our australian guitars and that was very exciting actually and he was a guitar player also so that was really cool um i tried to get him to buy one but he thought it might be better for you if he actually buys a french guitar rather than <laughs> um, yeah, there might be a revolt he, he did ask me if i if he if i'd take cash that was quite funny as well but anyway this is <laughs> Um, but no, we, we, straight away we actually had a meeting. You're fading a little bit there, Stuart. Sorry. Um, sorry about that. I, um, is that okay now? Yeah, I'm just saying, pick, yeah, keep speaking into the mic. Yes. Yeah. yes. Thank, yes. thank uh, you. We had, a, we had a, um, a meet and greet with all the Luthiers who was re representing their countries. And uh, wow, that was mind-blowing because, you know, I'm meeting Irish, Swedish, you know, fr from everywhere. 
and um, nobody could believe that we would come all the way from Australia to um, to go there. They're going on the other side of the world, you know. Anyway, we um, we ended up. Um, that was really great because you network and all that sort of thing. We sold a guitar there, and just over the weekend, you know, thousands of people talking and asking about your guitars, and they're so interested that we come from Australia. It was a really, really amazing, um, um, you know, interest that everybody really had, you know, like it was very well received uh, from the people that are over in Europe, you know. Well, that's fantastic, and I mean, your guitars are really beautiful, and you make them from special wood, and we, we've chatted on uh, to to you before on the show about that uh, you mm. you basically select the wood very carefully don't you and uh, yes yeah well you know it has to be tonal wood and there's a lot of r&d with my company speaking guitars to you know to, to to know what works and what doesn't work you know mm. and uh we only you know we just, we get great results and if you use beautiful solid timber that's tonal woods with uh, all good quality parts you can't you can't help but get great tone you know well, it's really well done for, to you to, for actually taking it across to um, to Europe, to France and um, showcasing yeah. it, you know, that's really good. So it sounds like it was a very successful uh, trip overseas and um, and so what's the next step for you? Are you going to go overseas again in, or, you know? Yeah, well, I, look, I, I very much would like to, we're hoping to do the Melbourne Guitar Show this year. Um, we would like to actually be back in Paris next year. It was, we were so well received. I, I'm sure I'm, it's worth going back there. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Uh, even the lady who bought one one of my guitars, um, she's happy to um, be a distributor over there for us. So we've given her a sender all pro promotional um, promotional stuff, and she's you know she's certainly going to push it for us and show the guitar she's bought as we did with the gentleman who's in. Um, Ian Moffat, who's actually in Scotland, so he does that for us, and hopefully we make some sales and it can go through those people. But um, no, our big one next year is Berlin, so we wow. are going to try to do. We're going to try to do Paris and then move to the Berlin, which is pretty much the next country, and and uh, we'll do that there. And we'll hope. So we'll just keep getting this name out there. You know, it's all about me being noticed, and we're certainly with our non-traditional shapes and colours and also the the type of things that guitars do which are not just the same as um, your average guitar you know they all do something a little bit different a little bit extra than what we normally buy as the guitars we've known for a hundred years mm, mm. so um yeah so we're we're getting noticed because of that and uh and especially with our beautiful artwork in fact we met a um a french artist over there who we've We've told him that we'd actually like one of his images on our guitars, also. Oh, that's so, great! Um, I yeah, think I so think it's such a great idea using the actual guitar for you know artwork. I mean, specific, you know, specialised um, kind of uh, whatever people want, really. And yeah, that's that's yeah, great. Absolutely. I mean, you're you're um, excellent in that uh, you will, you know, kind of allow people to say, "Well, look, I know I'd like it this colour or whatever." Is that is that the case? Mm. Yeah, that's right. I mean, they can choose anything they want. Mm. Um, we've we've just finished a Bugs Bunny one, which you know if you hear that play, that sounds unbelievable. But you tell me a shape, you tell me a colour, your design, uh, any etching you want inside the wood in a beautiful marking like you would normally have on the headstock. We can inscribe inscribe our our metal plates and neck plates and things like that. So you know, totally one hundred percent unique. We also do have our own range which we have five or six guitars which you can choose from and but come and tell me you can buy one off the wall mm. or you can actually still just you know um say look i want this in fact we're doing a uh one in the shape of a coffin at the moment in a bass guitar for a lady who's a metal player so <laughs> wow that's been quite quite difficult to design actually because i need to get that we, we what we call a horn which is the front part of the guitar otherwise it'll just want to drop so in the design of that it was actually quite difficult other people have tried to do it before and it just looks like a cuckoo clock the way they've sort of done it but <laughs> the way i've done it i've got done like an open coffin with the lid slightly forward and that actually gives me that weight sitting forward gosh it so, sounds um, it sounds like a real art uh, you know an art in itself the art of um 
making custom guitars amazing. Yeah, well, if they want that different shape, I do have to design it because it's got to work. It's got to be functional, not only look good. Mm. And 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 at the, at the very end of it, you know, the main thing is the sound, and we always get great tones. So mm. I'm um, very excited about our future and our and our trips. And as I said, the trips are all about you know just getting the name out there, and hopefully one day we'll be known as an international brand.